Tonight, with the race for the White House just nine days until Election Day, former President Trump drawing a massive crowd for a rally at New York's Madison Square Garden. Trump is making a return to his former hometown, looking to flip the deep blue state for the first time in decades. Police tightening security around Madison Square Garden as thousands gather for the rally. A new ABC News Ipsos poll shows Trump and Harris are in a dead heat, with the vice president holding a slight lead among likely voters. We'll have more on that poll shortly. It comes against the backdrop of more than 41 million Americans who've already cast their ballots. ABC's Rachel Scott leads us off tonight from Madison Square Garden. Tonight, just nine days until Election Day, former President Donald Trump trading the critical neck and neck battleground states for his deep blue home state of New York. I'm thrilled to be back in the city I love and thousands of proud, hardworking, American patriots, you're with me. Line stretching outside his rally at Madison Square Garden, branded the world's most famous arena, known for Knicks basketball games and star-studded concerts. It's here in New York where Donald Trump built his business and where he was indicted and convicted in May of falsifying business records. Tonight, the former president returning to deliver his closing message. We're going to defeat Kamala Harris and we're going to win back the beautiful White House. And we're going to make America great again. In recent days, Trump leaning into his signature issue of the border, declaring the influx of undocumented immigrants has soured the country. We become like a garbage can for the rest of the world. They're throwing all their garbage into our country. Tonight's rally kicking off with one comedian comparing Puerto Rico to an island of garbage. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris today slamming Trump's rhetoric, calling it dark and divisive. He talks about America being the garbage can of the world and um, just continuously, I think, demeans the character and nature of who we are as America and who the American people are. Today, Trump's running mate Senator J.D. Vance agreeing with Trump that some of their Democratic political opponents are a bigger threat than foreign adversaries. We can handle foreign conflicts. We, we can handle, look, under Nancy Pelosi's long life in public leadership, the United States has gone from the preeminent industrial power of the world to second next to China. That fundamentally belongs on Nancy Pelosi's shoulders. Rachel Scott joins us now from Madison Square Garden. Rachel Trump trying to energize his base tonight, but also boost a handful of vulnerable Republicans who could determine control of Congress. Exactly, Lindsay. A Republican presidential candidate has not won the state of New York since Ronald Reagan 40 years ago. But Republicans are fighting for majority in both the House and the Senate this election. And Donald Trump's president in this state now, just days to go, could help boost some of those vulnerable Republican candidates down the ballot in those key House races that could ultimately determine control of the House, Lindsay. Thank you so much at stake, Rachel. Thank you.